Hi! Welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Node-RED application tool in our Windows 11 environment. So, Node-RED is such a great tool if you want to create your IoT project with minimal code. So, this is a great software, especially for students who does not know much about the programming. So, to begin the installation, let's go to Google and then type in the install Node-RED Windows. And then, let's just click the first link here. And the very first thing that we need to, to uh, do is to install Node.js. So, let's download the Node.js Windows. And in here, let's just click the installer. Once the installer is downloaded successfully, so let's just click open. And then click next. And then let's just wait for the installation to finish. And then let's click finish. So once the Node.js is, uh, Node is installed, let's open a new command prompt. And then let's verify first the version. So the version right now is 20.11. Let's verify what is the compatibility version of Node.red and the Node.js runtime. So from this link, you would notice that the version recommended version for the Node.js is 20.x and we now have the 20.11, so we're good. Next, let's go into installing the Node.red. So to install the Node.red globally in our Node.js runtime, let's execute this particular command. And then let's just wait for the installation to finish. Okay, now that the installation is finished, then let's try running Node-RED. So to run Node-RED, let's just execute this command. Oops. It's node-red and then click enter. Okay, so now let's try accessing the Node.js endpoint. And we are able to access now the node.js here. So everything seems to be okay since the user interface of Node-RED is, uh, is, has been shown. So the very next thing that we need to do is to secure this installation so that we are required to enter the username and password. So to do that, let's go back again to our installation and then type in the secure node red here and then click the first link and we don't need the https access what we want is to set the username and password but if you wanted uh, to create the https access then we need to generate a key and a certificate so right now, uh, let's just skip this part and then go into the username and password based authentication. What we want is uh, we are required to input a username and a password. So all we need to do is to set this uh, list or array of user. And to do this one, we need to access the settings.js. So right now, the settings.py can be found in here. So I just copy this one. And then let's go into the Explorer. Oops. Okay. And then right now, this is the settings.js. And once, uh, let's try to open the settings.js. And we need to find this particular 
value which is the admin auth which is set for the security and all we need to do is just uh, edit or add comment these lines so okay next we need to change the password so right now all we have to do is uh, execute another command which is the node red admin hash password so let's copy this particular command and then let's just uh, cancel first the running and paste the password here and i'll key in the admin one two three password so right now this is the admin one two three i'm just going to copy this password and then go back into my settings.js and then paste the password here Okay, now that the settings.js is uh, changed, all we need to do is to run again the node red. Okay, and then let's try accessing again this particular URL. Oops, sorry, I made a mistake. Okay, let's copy again this URL and then let's go back here. So I am expecting that there is, should be a username and password prompt, which is here. And then let's try the admin and the admin123. Click login. Okay, so which means that we are able to access the Node-RED installation in Windows and we have put configured the security by using the uh, file-based authentication. So right now, this is my admin and I can log out again so that uh, the very next time I try to access this URL, then I am required to key in the username and password. So once you have done this, then all you have to do is uh, you can now start creating your next Node-RED so that's how easy it is to click, uh, install the Node-RED in Windows. So I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!